Dr. Rajendra Prasad is a internationally renowned Delhi-based surgeon. He has come up with a lot of innovative techniques for managing heart cataract and uh, for one of the papers he is presenting now. And he has also done work on uh, uh, posterior polar cataract on what you presented. So, uh, and I think I was fortunate to <laughs> judge his paper, the best paper, <laughs> when he <laughs> presented that also. So, welcome. Dr. Rajinder. Thank you, sir. Uh, good morning, friends, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you, chairpersons, for giving me this opportunity to be here. And uh, it was my keynote address, but uh, I think because this, since this has been kept uh, in a free paper session, so I'll just read my paper, which I read in AACRS. And uh, this paper was adjudged the best uh, cataract paper at uh, American Society of Cataract and Refractive Surgery this year only. So I'll read that paper only, okay? Mm -hmm. So that would be better, it could be short and... Okay, so the title of my paper is Saving Needle Microcapsulotomy, New Technique to Avert Argentinian Plaque Sign in Intimacy and Pearly White Cataract. We do not have any financial interest in the subject matter of this presentation. Friends, we know that uh, the Argentinian Plaque Sign is a cell-propagating radial extension of the anterior capsulate tear, which typically arises tantly after an initial prick with a sharp hypodermic needle or a sharp tip axis forceps when we are raising the flap to create a capsular axis. This was first described by Daniel Peronet in 2000. Peronet actually uh, described it to be the sequelae of raised internal intercular pressure, the only factor responsible for the propagation of initial prick into a radial capsular tear along with posterior to anterior compartment pressure, high pressure anterior compartment propelling posterior compartment and forward thrust of the nucleus on the back of the anterior capsule, which creates the extension of the capsular tear. Various techniques have been described to neutralize the raised internal intercular pressure to decompress the back before we start the capsular axis. Including the saving needle microcapsulotomy, including the small needle aspiration technique, which involves pricking the anterior capsule with a sharp 26 gauge hypodermic needle, followed by simultaneous aspiration of the liquefied lens matter to decompress the back. Quite often, we have seen that peripheral extension of the anterior capsular tear even happens the moment you prick the anterior capsule with the sharp hypodermic needle. And uh, this is the result, as you can see here in this video, the moment you prick the anterior capsule, before we are able to aspirate any fluid from the capsular back, the tear starts extending to the periphery. So we had an hypothesis that uh, there had to be some other factors responsible which assist the raised internal intercular pressure to propagate the splitting of anterior capsular tear resulting into Argentinian plaque sign. So we did a retrospective examination of surgical videos where the Argentinian plaque sign was noted and we discovered that in reality it's not the raised internal intercular pressure the only factor responsible for the extension of the tear. It is the configuration of the initial puncture created to open up the anterior capsule by the sharp tip hypodermic needle or the raxis forceps. So we create various kind of uh, uh, opening in the anterior capsule, like we use a sharp hypodermic needle or the capsular axis forces, uh, there are different techniques people use, but it's basically the configuration we create on the anterior capsule while opening the anterior capsule. And we know that puncturing the anterior capsule with an ultra sharp beveled hypodermic needle or sharp tip raxis forceps results into a small linear cut with the open edges along the entry. So this is the kind of opening we make on the entry capsule before we start the 
capsular axis. And we know that there is a raised anterior lenticular pressure which triggers of a disruptive force behind the capsule within the back along the discontinuous open edges of the linear cut. So if you make a linear cut, there would be a pressure which is acting on the open edges of this linear cut to open up this. And uh, the linear cut easily opens up because if you have a linear cut, the, the cut point of the ends of the cut would start opening up and it would rapidly radialize to the periphery resulting into Argentinian plaque sign. So this is the basic factor in the formation of the Argentinian plaque sign. And uh, the tear always extends radially along the discontinuous open edges of the linear cuts. You must have seen when you are opening the anterior capsule, whether with the needle or with the capsular access forceps, the tear will always extend where the cut is there. It will never extend perpendicular to the tear. It means the cut has, is the main culprit. It's not only the raised internal ventricular pressure, it's the cut we make on the anterior capsule, which is the main responsible factor for the uh, creation of the Argentinian plaque sign. Henceforth, we came up with a hypothesis that if we were able to manually create an opening in the anterior capsule, which had a round and regular configuration instead of a linear cut, we may provide resistance against the disruptive forces, thus preventing Argentinian plaque sign. It means instead of making a linear cut, if we can make a hole on the anterior capsule, we can prevent this exchanger of the capsular tear, whatever kind of the pressure is there inside. And so what we did to open up the anterior capsule, we devised a uh, unique device which is called the saving needle microcapsulotone. It has a smooth round pointed tip similar to saving machine needle system. You must have seen the saving needle. The tip of the saving needle is something like this. And unlike this sharp cut, which we have a needle, and if you open up the capsule with a needle, it makes a cut. If you open up the capsule with this needle, you'll have a round hole formation. So if you can make a round hole, the round hole has a resistance because it's circular and round. It will not easily open up. And uh, you can prevent the formation of the Argentinian plaque sign. And uh, this is the device I'm using to open up the anterior capsule in this video. And you can see the animation also. You can use a simple saving needle also because if you do not have this device, you can just use that one rupee needle. Just bend the tip as we do for the hypodermic needle to create the anterior ca capsular axis and just puncture the anterior capsule. So when you puncture the anterior capsule with this device, you'll get a hole formation. And this hole actually uh, has a resistance as said in the beginning. And at the same time, this will help in the evacuation of the fluid from the capsular bag. So you have seen the evacuation of the fluid from this uh, video and also from the animation video. You can make uh, one hole on the entire capsule or you can make a multiple holes, but these multiple holes have to be within the five millimeter zone of the entire capsule. And uh, so that later on when you are making the capsular axis, the, all these holes should come within the capsular axis margin. And uh, these multiple holes help to evacuate. Many times these uh, intumescent cataract have multiple fluid pockets and if you make one hole you may not evacuate all the fluid pockets so you can make the multiple fluid pocket uh, holes so that you evacuate the the capsular bag completely with the uh, with the the uh, these holes and uh, then you once the capsular bag is decompressed then we can start the capsular axis and you will never have the capsular bag extension so to conclude uh, in the white cataract is primarily linear cut configuration of the initial prick which has the potential to spontaneously extend along its open edges, leading to Argentinian flag sign. Saving needle microcapsulotomy with a round regular configuration like a capsulotomy in true sense provides resistance against the disruptive forces triggered by the high interlenticular pressure. Initial decompression of the capsular bag facilitates safe and controlled creation of capsular axis of a desired size with higher level of efficacy and safety. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. So any question uh, I'd like to answer. So this, since this is not a paper, you can ask a question. <laughs> Audience can ask. If any query. Any. So do you aspirate when you take a puncture? Because yes. I saw that your particular design has a hole for aspiration. Yeah, now actually, uh, initially we started with a round tip uh, without hole, just to puncture. And uh, in 90% of the cases, it helps. 
just puncturing is enough but uh, yeah in some cases where you have a flocculent material which is not liquid actually because a semi solid liquid. kind of uh, mm. material so that needs to be aspirated so we have now devised a, a puncture with a hole in it like we do a, a needle aspiration but in needle aspiration the needle tip as i said is a sharp tip but here the tip is round and pointed when it enters into the capsule it makes a hole and then you can aspirate the fluid and what gauge is that needle uh, we have uh, started with the 21 gauge we have brought it to the 20 gauge now and even 19 gauge is also good Nine so as nine large nine hole if you want a smaller hole then use 21 22 mm -hmm. gauge but we have uh, all the sizes available with this device and uh, now a question like uh, which company uh, manufacturer is uh, as i said uh, as i said uh, sir uh, you can use just the saving needle only the one rupee jo needle hum kapde silne ke liye use karte hain okay. simple needle just bend the tip hold it to the forceps and make a hole now we have asked epsilon to make a uh, device to hold the needle so that you fix that uh, needle in the okay. device. device so you can use that a, yeah, as a chopper kind of thing and then make a hole but this uh, device as a saving needle micro capsulotomy is available with its uh, epsilon only okay. but it's a bit costly you can use a single one rupee needle is very good like you just hold with any forceps the the locking horse okay. forceps yes. and uh, bend the tip and pick it on the entry capsule and when you make multiple punctures as you said then where do you start capsule or excess when you have done five punctures in yeah. the center yeah you How, start where, where from the center you you start tearing it from the center the best way the is same to start puncture or you just extend it slightly and no, no. start what once you have made the hole yes. uh, you must have seen in the video hmm. you make the hole Mm. and from that hole make it tear because now the capsule is relaxed is decompressed you don't have a problem now you now you can tear it tear it raise the flap and then uh, include all these holes within the capsular axis right thank nice. you Thanks. actually thank you, the same principle applied for uh, what people were doing with FICO only thing is they didn't realize that the main uh, reason that didn't extend was because the FICO probe also makes a small round. Yeah, so Dr. Mohan Rajan has yeah, uh, come out with the puncher axis. You must have heard his yes. talk. Puncher axis is like you use the FICO probe to punch the anterior capsule, make a round hole on the anterior capsule. But puncher axis, uh, I also tried in uh, some of my cases. Puncher axis, the problem is the vacuum uh, stability is very important because if you use little more vacuum, little less vacuum, you won't be able to do it. little more vaccines, you can just aspirate everything and uh, you may have a dialysis and all. So that is not very easy actually. No, See any any technology. What, what I'm saying is the principle basically principle was the same. same. They didn't realize that, that it is principle working is because same. it is yeah. making a round See, hole. See any, any new technology or any new invention has to be simpler than the previous technique. It should be simpler, it should be reusable, it should be uh, effective and uh, any common surgeon should be able to use it. So that is the idea. So using a saving needle See, you may not get the result, but you will not spoil the eye at all. You can restart with your axis if the puncture is not possible, it's not getting the evacuation. You can start with your axis as routine. But this will not uh, make any complication. That is 110% sure this will not make any complication. Uh, but and the rest it of the it is much more controlled. Yeah. You have yeah. total control right. on that. But FACO punch is not new. It is something which has yeah, been yeah. been it's presented in US since ages. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was the FACO punch. And then Dr. Mohan Raj Jajan came out with the punch or axis. So they were same thing, yeah. but uh, it was not popularized because of its uh, complexity and uh, complications. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you. So